Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Massa English Quiet Time. Today, uh, we have uh, uh, Second Chronicles, uh, chapter 33, uh, verse 7 through 11. Let's uh, take a look first. And the carved the Im image of the uh, idol that he had made, uh, he set in the house of uh, God, uh, of which God said to David and to Solomon his son. In this house and in Jerusalem, which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel, I will put my name forever. And I will no more remove the food of Israel from the land that I appointed for your fa fathers, if only they will be careful to do all that I have commanded them, all the law, the statutes, and the rules given through Moses. Manasseh led Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem astray to do more evil than the nations whom the Lord destroyed before the people of Israel. The Lord spoke to Manasseh and to his people, but they paid no attention. And therefore the Lord brought upon them the commanders of the army of the king of Assyria, who captured Manasseh with the hooks and bound him with a chain of bronze and brought him to Bab Babylon. Yeah, this is it. All right, and uh, what does it say? Text is talking about he made, you know, in verse 7, he made an image of the idols. This is a mistake, and you know, he's a mistake. He made, made a mistake because uh, he made an uh, image, you know. This is uh, exactly uh, God uh, just uh, forbidden to, to do it in Ten Commandments, you know. Do not make any idols and do not worship them, you know, first and second. And he just uh, disobeyed it, you know. This is a terrible situation. Uh, so, whatever in our situation, so many people, they are. Uh, it seems like uh, just serving the Lord, but uh, Bible indicates in the New Testament when you really like the you know love of money is like also idolatry is talking about uh, in the Pauline epistles you know so if you like really money I saw so many people like so much you know have uh, you know like money yeah everyone likes everyone likes money but we need money but however if uh, you know, anyone so much he loves to you know love of money that can be idolatry uh, Bible is uh, clearly talking about what do you need why do you need money because to do uh, the justice to do the will of God and whatever you know but some people just uh, they like money itself and uh, it can be really idolatry this is a terrible situation so God uh, God punished the uh, uh, you know, Manasseh, uh, according to the uh, the promise of the uh, covenant, when you look at verse 8 like that, so if only, you know, it talks about really, the Bible clearly talking about if only they will be careful to do all that I have commanded them, you know, all the law and the statutes and the rules. In, in other words, and uh, God already uh, promised that uh, anyone should uh, just uh, follow, obey the word of God, if, unless they will be punished. So they, uh, God just uh, prepared, uh, uh, I think, a punishment, you know. Uh, so he used uh, in here, verse 11, king of Assyria, the army of Assyria, uh, commander. They just, uh, uh, God allowed them to invade and then just uh, uh, come to uh, capture the Manasseh, you know, with the hooks and bound him. In here, we just uh, uh, translate with the uh, hooks and chains, but it can be also uh, can be another translation, and uh, he could be captured in the thorn bush. You know, it means he just uh, hide himself. You know, different meaning in here because of uh, uh, you know translation of Hebrew word. But anyway, uh, he just did this. Uh, uh, disobey the the word of God finally and uh, God allowed you know the enemies uh, come to invade to uh, him and to let them you know made them to capture him and take taken away 
So this is a text is talking about, right? So uh, this is a on, uh, also promise of a uh, uh, chapter twenty eight of uh, uh, Deuteronomy. So when the people really do not listen and disobey, and God is just bring all the enemy and uh, just uh, let uh, them to capture and take, you know, the people away like that. Exactly happened the promise, uh, according to the Bible. So this is a uh, really uh, you know. Well, we are very, are very obvious, obvious, and uh, we are responsible for to uh, keeping the word of God like this, right? So exactly, it happened like that. These days, a uh, situation is very similar. So we should pray for, and always we should be faithful uh, in keeping His uh, the you know law of the Lord, right? Let's pray that, uh, Father. We thank you today, and Manasseh uh, just. Uh, had taken to the uh, Assyria and uh, they just invaded and then uh, punished them, uh, the people of uh, uh, Judah in his time. Father, uh, just uh, even though uh, so many people they are calling to be the people of God, but they making like an image of either like uh, they love uh, much, you know, uh, have a love, uh, really love them. Uh, anything money and uh, worldly thing this can be also idolatry so lord keep us from all the love uh, uh, you know heart of love for money and the world like that so only concentrate to love you uh, more than anything lord we just want to love you and everything is just the uh, tools and the mediums and uh, just the uh, means of uh, just the uh, uh, means of uh, what he what you are doing lord so lord please keep today and uh, uh just uh, help us to live according to your will always uh, we should be faithful to uh, in keeping the words of word of god in our lives we pray in jesus name amen so today and uh, don't forget that uh, very simple and uh, disobeyed and uh, according to covenant god punished uh, uh, the king of Manasseh, same thing, even though you are claimed to be Christian, but however, very similar, uh, you know, case and situation will happen because uh, God always wants us to be faithful in his uh, covenant. So we should be uh, faithful, always uh, try to uh, obey the word of God, right? And uh, don't forget we are the people of covenant, right?